this is Candy with eyes to jesus.blogspot.com and I just finished uh, sweeping and mopping throughout the whole house so uh, I have myself uh, trapped here in my recliner while I wait for our, the rest of the floors to dry so while I'm doing that I am doing what I call my weekly office work and it doesn't need to be done in an office or at my desk most of the time I do it relaxing here in my recliner with my planner and uh, pretty much just finished I uh, worked on our budget and planned out what bills were paying, etc. So I got all that done. And then I put together a menu plan for the week. Um, I plan our breakfast, lunches, suppers, and sides. So I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but I'll go ahead and read to you um, our suppers that I have planned. So I have a planned salmon loaf with a side of turmeric rice and roasted Brussels sprouts. Um, potato soup with a side of cheesy broccoli, um, meatloaf with a side of mashed potatoes with gravy and some green beans, uh, lentil stew with a side of salad, uh, chicken and dumplings with sides of sweet potato fries and roasted Brussels sprouts, lasagna with sides of cauliflower and green beans, and then some crock pot beef stew with a side of salad. So I have my menu set up. I, of course, uh, used my meal ideas pages to help me out with that. And I just finished putting together my grocery list. I started by just writing everything down that I needed in any order from looking at my uh, master grocery list and my menu to help remind me what I need. And then I rewrote it in order of, uh, I would say of aisles of the store, but I'm actually going to uh, two or three different stores tomorrow. But I just wrote it uh, in kind of a logical order. I have my non-food stuff. And then I wrote down uh, dry goods, and then I wrote down produce, and then meat, and then dairy, and then frozen. And then the very last thing on my list is all toys, because I just get that from checkout. And if you've seen any of my What's in My Purse videos, then you know that I use peppermint all toys medicinally. It's very good for if you have a cold or if you have an upset stomach. So now that these things are done, I am going to uh, go get lunch going since the floors are pretty much dry and uh, I need to get groceries tomorrow so uh, <laughs> I'm actually gonna make pancakes for lunch because I'm kind of out of stuff and I'm out of syrup too and I'm out of white sugar so I'm going to make a homemade brown sugar syrup to go with our pancakes so we're heading off to lunch um, today has been a good day it's not gorgeous like it was yesterday we have snow clouds rolling in, so we might be getting more snow. Um, blah on that. And welcome to December 6th, Anti-Vlogmas. And I'm, going, I'm here to give you even more reasons why Christians should not celebrate Christmas. As uh, I brought up in yesterday's Anti-Vlogmas, Baal was born on or near December 25th and not Jesus. But does the Bible say when Jesus was born? Yes, it does. I actually have an article about that on my blog. I also have a very extensive video about that uh, here on my YouTube channel. Just take a look at my Bible study playlist for that. But uh, we know that Jesus was six months older than John the Baptist that uh, when Mary conceived of the Holy Spirit was when Elizabeth was six months pregnant and that Jesus was therefore born six months after John the Baptist was born. All right, so let's find out when John the Baptist was born, right? Well, we know that uh, John the Baptist was conceived after Zechariah finished his course, his Levitical course in the temple. And you can read about the Levitical priest course in the Old Testament 1 Chronicles chapter 24. And uh, John the Baptist's father, Zechariah, he was serving the course of Abijah. And according to 1 Chronicles 24.10, the seventh, the Hakkavs, the eight to Abijah. So the course of Abijah or Abiah was the eighth course. All right, so then if you read all of 1 Chronicles chapter 24, then you see that um, the Levitical priests were divided into courses, which said who was to serve in the temple. In the New Testament, in Luke chapter 1, is where we see that Zechariah, John the Baptist's father, was serving the course of Abijah or Abiah. And there are 12 months in the Hebrew calendar. All right. So there are 24 courses and 12 months because there are two courses per Hebrew month. 
So the course that John the Baptist served in was the eighth course, the course of Abijah. That would put him serving in the fourth Hebrew month. And the fourth Hebrew month is the month of Tammuz. All right, so that means Elizabeth, John the Baptist's mom, was pregnant with John the Baptist. Uh, when she was six months along pregnant with him, would have been in the Hebrew month Tevet. Uh, Tevet, would the, Tevet would then be the month that Mary conceived Jesus Christ of the Holy Spirit. Nine months after Tevet puts Jesus being born on the seventh Jewish month, which is Tishri. Right, so then Jesus was born in the month Tishri. So when Jesus was killed, it was on a Jewish feast. He was killed on the Passover to be our Passover lamb to pay for our sins. It's likely that he was born on a feast day as well. Uh, when he was born was likely the Sukkot or the Feast of Tabernacles because Tabernacle is synonymous with temple and Jesus is the temple of God. Uh, as we see in John chapter 2 verses 19 through 21 which says, Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. All right, now further, the Feast of Tabernacles was a feast that celebrated God's being present with his chosen people, and a time of remembrance when God was with Israel in the wilderness. So, it's basically, it's about God tabernacling, tab tabernacling or dwelling with man. So Jesus, the temple or the tabernacle of God, was born in the month of Tishri, which would have been late September, early October, so we're narrowing it down. I think we can narrow it down even more. So if Jesus was born in the year 3 BC, that would put his birthday on or very near to September 29th. On September 29th, 3 BC, if we keep watching in Stellarium, Venus exits Virgo's womb. Okay, what is one of the names for Venus, an ancient name? An ancient name for Venus is the bright and morning star. Who in the Bible is referred to as the bright and morning star? Well, let's look at Revelation chapter 22, verse 16 to find out. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Venus, the bright and morning star, the same title that Jesus takes in Revelation chapter 22, verse 16, exited the womb of Virgo on September 29 in the year 3 B.C. Have a blessed day.